Okay, so after the last video that I did for making the sanding block, this is where I'm at with this knife. I uh, managed to sand the blade down. I've got the handle kind of rough sanded in. Um, I'm going to be putting a linen micarta handle on here that I'm going to make. Uh, so, with the blade, you can see I hit it, I've got it pretty good. There's still a few scratches you can see at the top of the blade here, up, up here. Um, and then there's there's some like right along this area here that I still need to work out. So, let me get the light on it right there. There we go. So yeah, I've got a little bit less sanding left to do on this one, but uh, overall it's looking pretty good. It looks like I got a little bit more there too as well. I'm trying to figure out where exactly I want to put these pins. I'm thinking probably around center, so maybe, maybe around 5 eighths of an inch. Um, so... Here probably. And then this one about an inch in from the point. So mark it here with my scoring tool. And here. I'm not sure how visible that is, but uh, this basically is a sharp pointed scoring tool so uh, let's see here this one I'll probably do it's a little too far in maybe about two and a quarter inches in so mark it there mark it here Now I just need to punch it. So this one I want to be right here. And this one I want to be right here. So now I've got two punch marks and now we can go ahead and drill it. Okay, I got this set up, I got it clamped. I don't really feel like trying to hang on to that knife while I'm drilling it, so uh, I've got two um, welding clamps on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill these holes out. There we have it, two holes drilled, so I believe this is ready for heat treating now. Okay, here I'm set up for the next go around. I've got my mini forge here that I built. Uh, it's like a four inch piece of pipe. It's about maybe six and a half, seven inches deep. Um, and it works with just using the regular uh, map gas torch and I have my oil here uh, for quenching and so what I'm going to do right now is fire up the forge and I've got this bolt, this rather large one, that I am going to uh, use to preheat my oil. So once I've done that, um, I will, I'm just planning to to heat treat the blade and maybe part of the handle, but the, the handle I'm not going to make, uh, I'm not planning to heat treat the entire thing, so we'll see. This is my first go around to using this as a 1095 steel. So the plan is to uh, get this a cherry red in the forge and then go ahead and quench it in the oil here and then I'm going to do a tempering round in the oven at 400 degrees 
for two hours. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna fire this up, preheat the oil, and then give this a go. Hopefully this works out. I've got a lot of time into this knife so far and I'd really like it to turn out. So here we go. I'm thinking I don't have the heat quite far forward enough because the end of the blade is getting nice and red but the back end isn't so I'm going to move this torch and try to get the back end as well. It's all kind of that glowy cherry red color, so I think it's the back end of it here.
probably isn't the best way to do this, but apparently my forge isn't quite right, so. We'll see how it works. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it with the tongs and dunk it. There we go. Shit, the thing's not deep enough. Dang it. Try to grab the other end here and dunk the other end as well. I caught my wood on fire. Okay, this is probably not the way you should do this, but curious to see how it turns out. Got a little bit of a warp to it. Just using cheap vegetable oil here. Let's see if I can give you a view of the yeah, you can see it warps to the left at the tip a little bit. All right, well, this is uh, where it's at right now. I heat treated it last night, let it cool overnight. It's got a little bit of a warp. Uh, you can see the tip goes a little bit to the left. But um, overall, it's not too bad. I think I overheated it a little bit when I had it in the forge. Got it past that cherry red and a little bit into the orange. So... Uh, I still need to put an edge on it. I need to sand the, the burnt oil off of it, clean it up. So that'll be my next step. All right, this is where progress currently stands. I've got the uh, all the black cleared off the blade from the tempering process. Uh, I, I um, sanded down the blade. I sharpened it. And I've got the holes drilled. Basically all i got left to do now is put the handle on. So I still need to buy some epoxy and make my linen micarta. And then I can put it on and shape it. 